Today, we have come to Stardom Planetarium. Welcome to Stelio. A planetarium is a place where you can go to see what the night sky looks like. Planetariums also have exhibits about space and telescopes which you can look through. The universe is everything we can touch, feel, sense, measure or detect. It includes living things, planets, stars, galaxies, light and even time. Scientists believe that the universe began in a Big Bang, which took place nearly 14 billion years ago. Since then, the universe has been expanding at very high speed. The universe is incredibly huge. It would take a modern jet fighter more than a million years to reach the nearest star to the Sun. No one knows the exact size of the universe because we cannot see the edge, if there is one. All we do know is that the visible universe is at least 93 billion light years across. A light year is the distance light travels in one year, about 9 trillion kilometers. Space is everything that exists beyond planet Earth, our home. People who go up into space are called astronauts, and people who study it are called astronomers. One of the closest things in space to Earth is the Moon, a big ball of rock that travels around in a circle. The Moon is a still, silent place. It has no air or life of any kind. At night, the moon looks as if it's shining. In fact, the light comes from the sun. The moon acts like a mirror, a reflecting sunlight onto Earth. Around 40 years ago, astronauts flew to the moon. So far, the Moon is the only celestial body visited by human beings. In space, astronauts live in a floating home called the International Space Station. The station travels in circles around Earth. To go out into space, the astronauts wear heavy spacesuits. The spacesuit has a radio in the helmet to talk to the station crew, and a backpack carries air to breathe and water to drink. The closest star to our planet is the Sun. Just as the Moon goes around Earth, Earth goes around the Sun. The Sun is a massive ball of incredibly hot gas. A rocket from Earth would fly three years before it reached the Sun. Earth is one of eight balls of rock or gas called planets spinning around the Sun. They are all part of our solar system. The Sun is easily the biggest thing in the solar system. In fact, it's bigger than everything else put together. The Sun's powerful gravity keeps all the planets from drifting off into space. Oh, okay. Really? 
So is this about gravity? Yes. Um, this, that's low gravity. This is a bit high gravity. This is on the moon, so it will fall. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. On the sun. On the sun. Ah, so you can't lift it. And this is on Earth. Stars are huge glowing balls of gases. Different phases of a star. When it just became a star. Wow, that is so cool. This is the star when it's alive. Wow. This is how this is how a star dies. They aren't just sprinkled through space. They gather together in vast, dazzling groups called galaxies. Our sun is just one of 200,000 million stars that make up the spectacular spiral galaxy called the Milky Way. The sun looks ginormous to us, but look how small it is in comparison with the other stars. Oh, look at this one. Oh my goodness. Turn the wheel to see how the moon's orbit changes its phases. The Big Bang Theory was born in 1920. Oh, look at this one. People have gazed at space for thousands of years. Today, clever inventions let us see even further. For hundreds of years, people used telescopes to look at space. Telescopes have glass lenses that make far-off things look bigger. Today, astronomers use very powerful telescopes. From space? Oh! Right now! Right no, now, no, this is a real spaceship recording. This is the earth, oh. how they see it from the earth. Is this a spaceship? There's a, there's a real spaceship. To see even further, astronomers send cameras and telescopes up into space that send pictures and videos back to computers on earth. your favorite thing about the universe?